Hello and welcome to Creativity TV. On today's show, Jo Austin creates a pop-up card using the stylish Strictly Party collection from Papermania. Let's take a look. The Strictly Party range from Papermania is one of my favourite ranges this year. I just love how on trend it is at the moment with the colours and the vibrancy and the images being perfect for ladies and girls of all ages. And what I've done with this range is to create this little card here using the decoupage elements of the kits and also the papers. I've got a little twist to show you. When we open the card up, we've got a little pop-up element at the top here. So to create our card, I've taken a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and I'm going to place it onto our multi-scoreboard and I'm going to use line 6 to create a large square card. I can then turn it over and trim off this extra little lip. Now if we place it back on our scoreboard and score line six again. We can fold it in half to create a square card. Now we're just going to work on this top section to create our little pop-up element of the card. So what we're going to do is to lay it on our scoreboard again and this time we're going to use line 4 and score from the top down to the first score line. And then we can flip our card over again and just repeat that score line again. two side sections that we've created, we can then cut those off. Now when we've cut those off, it's left as this little centre panel that we're going to create our pop-up with. So to create the pop-up, we just need to pop this back onto our board. It doesn't matter which line you use. We're just going to measure round about an inch and just make a little mark. So I'm going to pop that mark onto our last line and create a V section. So just turn your card until the line comes up to meet the edge of this middle section and score it across. So you've got a little V section down at the bottom, round about an inch deep. We can then crease that little fold and just push this section down as you close your card over the top. All we need to do then is just trim this edge so it's nice and level. there is your pop-up element. Now I'm not too worried it's slightly longer than what I want it to be at the moment because we need to create the pop-up cake section in the middle. So to do this I've got my scoreboard again and I've just taken an off cut of paper. This paper is roughly 
about the width of the section that we created at the top. And then we can use A, B, C or D to create our cake. So I'm going to put my paper onto line one. Make sure I'm equal at top and bottom of those little shapes there. And I'm just going to emboss it. And then again, I can run it against line two. And emboss it at the base. And then we can cut off these little excess areas above and below our score lines. We can just pop that section to one side. And now we just need to create some icing to go across our cake again. So I've just taken a spare piece of white card and I'm going to emboss the same line again. I'm going to shuffle it a little bit further up and just repeat that embossing. So I've got a double embossed line quite close together. What I'm going to do then is just create some little scallops across the second emboss line that we did just to add a little bit of decoration and then I can then trim it and cut out across the first line so this has just created some white icing so to put our card together we're just going to work on this pop-up section first and this little shape that we created is going to go down first. So this is going to stick across the centre panel of our card. And then take your icing. And just attach that from the corners of that scallop. And then all we need to do is to trim off those two side sections. And round the top. So this is now your pop-up element. What we need to do is to press it back down and just re-crease. Now we're ready to decorate up the rest of our card. So firstly, we'll just decorate the front of our card. So turn it over with the pop-up element at the top. And I've just taken some of the pink, white and black beautiful papers from the Strictly Party range. So this is going to sit centrally onto the front. Just make sure you don't press this top corner down because we do need to trim this off in a second. I've then got some cardstock which is going to mount my decoupage onto. So I'm going to pop this down to one side. And the image that I'm going to use is this one. It's got the nice party theme to it, a little girl blowing out her candles. So all we need to do now is just attach the rest of the layers of our image.
I've taken a greeting as well from the pack. And again, I've just used some 3D foam pads on the back. What I'm going to do is just cut it out slightly smaller. And this is going to stick to the side of the image this time, rather than putting it on straight at the bottom. So if I fold our card up, we can then take this corner that I told you not to stick down. And just trim it off to follow the shape of your card in the corner. Now we can decorate up the inside. So for the inside sections, I've just taken two pieces of card and I've shaped it so I haven't got this V section at the top. got two pieces of extra paper and I've just cut it into around about a six centimetre strip by the width of the card and this is just going to sit down at the bottom And then to finish it off, all we need to do is to add our sentiment panel with the corresponding image panel on the opposite side. So I've just die cut two circles and these are just going to go in the centre of our card. And I've got a white section that we can apply for you to write your greeting onto. And then I've die cut one of the image plates, again from the decoupage set, just to use on the opposite side. To finish off the decoration, I've tied a couple of bows. I'm going to put one down at the base there. So we'll just add a bow to the base of our cake, and there's our finished card. So when we fold it up, the little pop-up cake element that we've made folds nice and flat into the card. I like Jo's style of card making. She always creates something 3D and likes to test her crafting skills. This collection is really pretty and could work really well for party invitations too. Decrafts designer and Creativity Club member Jenny Pierce loves using this collection and has kindly given us a card to show you. She's created this lovely party invitation and has used decoupage for a gorgeous 3D effect. Beautiful. If you've been inspired by today's show and would love to show off your cards using this fabulous collection, then send us an email to tv at docrafts.com and your project may get featured in a future episode of Creativity TV. You can also find the details of how to make the projects from today's show right here in the Creativity Club. Until next time, happy crafting.